Hey, what's up? This is Kronos and welcome, welcome back. So today we're gonna play FM and this is a horror game in which we play as an unknown protagonist and we navigate through a never shifting environment guided by a mysterious radio announcer describing a recent murder suicide. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to not miss out on next content and well, let's get into it. All right, here we go. Let's ready to start. We're bleeding, bleeding out. Jeez, what was that? Is it me losing blood or something? Can't see my feet. Suppose I'm a ghost, stuck in a room. No bed, an abandoned house, completely dark. course the door closes itself what is this oh we can zoom in zoom out can we run no of course we cannot run uh, this TV reminds me of the movie the ring something is gonna jump out of it now Jesus man why is it so dark in here what's wrong with these lights and there's no windows what kind of house is this there are no windows. Jeez. Nice painting, bruh. Ah, let's do this, guys. Long as hallways, of course. Go switch. Come in. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so you turn it off like this. Can we increase the luminosity? Why did it close itself? Can we increase the luminosity, please? Dude. Why is it so damn dark? Left click to interact with the certain objects. Flip the light switch. Oh, better. We got a radio here. Can we, can we control this too? Can I turn it off? The sun is annoying. Okay, I guess we have to go there. Um, can I? Can I open? No, of course it's locked. Um, oh no 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 no! It's not gonna happen. We are very disturbed. Oh, shit. Well, dude. Murder suicide of a wife and her two children, supposedly by their husband and father. The 42 year old man seemingly shot his pregnant spouse once in the stomach before taking his own life. Neither of the children suffered from gunshot wounds, but were severely beaten, both found with fractured skulls and several broken bones. Stay tuned for further details as police are still investigating the area and attempting to find a motive for this horrific event. Yeah. Of course. Pretty sure it's this house. Can I, can I go back at the start? Oh! We apologize for the abrupt interruption. We currently have a caller waiting. To Jeez, man. Of course, of course, of course the light had to break. Dude, let's say. Why is the light? Dude, the light is broke. The oh, jeez, man. The light is broken there, too. I can hear you. You got some respiratory issues, dude. Let me tell you that. Right. Yes, we have to go. There. Bring it on. Coming. Let's see. I'm not as scared of you. Ooh. Yeah, I knew that. Kind of expected that. 
Is this open? Oh yeah, it's open, finally. Dude, why? I don't understand. Why are all these doors shutting? Okay, we are in the next room. What is this place? The hold like right click to zoom in certain objects. Examine this radio. The crime okay. was first reported by a neighbor who said she was walking her dog when she heard two gunshots from the interior of the home. Listen closely to the radio. At certain points in time, you must examine objects in your surroundings that correlate to the story being told in order to proceed. Once you have regained control after interacting with said object, a sound will play that also relates to the story. This has no correlation to the next solution in the room. Okay. Um, so I guess we have to start examining what exactly? What the radio said? What did he say? The crime say? was first reported by a neighbor who said she was walking her dog when she heard two gunshots from the interior of the home. Two gunshots from the... What? Is this a scale? The hell is this? Is that brain? Dude, that's nasty! What is wrong with this place? Some experiments, brain experiments. Some blood on the floor. The crime was first reported by a neighbor this? who said she was walking her dog when she heard two gunshots from the interior okay. of the home. So, what is this? This? Oh, there's. The crime was first reported by oh! a neighbor who said she was walking her dog when she heard two gunshots from the interior of the home. Okay. What's, what's happening? Oh yeah, that's... Oh yeah, that's the gunshot. Okay, of course. Well... What the... Dude! After calling the police, she then went to investigate the commotion and discovered the bodies after receiving no answer at the door. I simply cannot imagine the weight she must feel after discovering such a horrific event so close to her home. Dude, is this her place? I mean, it's so dark, I cannot see anything. It's something in there, I can't even see what that is. I don't want to know, actually. Okay. The hell, dude? Is it brain? Bra, don't do this. Don't do this again. She just the scene in just stop. Detail, stating that the family bathroom had so much blood on its walls and floor that the drain had been clogged. Okay, blood. Blood. To look we found that before. Is it this one? Okay. Okay, I think I found it. Bruh, stop doing that. One or you come out. The bathroom was the family's 11-year-old daughter, who was okay. the third and final victim to be identified as dead at the scene. Dude, or you come out or you stay behind the door. Stop knocking. Okay, I think the next step should be in here. Can we open this? Why is this door not opening? Or oh, maybe in the in this thing. One of the bodies present in the bathroom was the family of yeah. year old daughter. There you go. Third and final victim to be identified as dead. Blood is. The scene. Okay. We found a TV. The ring. I told you guys. What did I tell you? Of course they had to use the TV. Oh, something is gonna come out, dude. I feel it. Bruh. What the hell? I just wanna close this. I don't like this. Can I turn it off? Turn it off! Bruh. Why is this door open now? Dude, 
there is nothing. Oh wait. Okay. Um not sure what happened. We got like teleported to the first room, but there's more blood now. Not sure what is that supposed to mean. Let's see. Okay, we are at the beginning. So that was the first act. Uh, was pretty chill. Something tells me that the more we go forward and the worse it becomes. Do like I already have goosebumps all over my body. Jeez. Oh, bro. Yeah, that was it. That was the same dude that was breathing in the darkness. With the respi respiratory problems. Dude, why is there is a phone? There was no phone before. Where is the phone coming from? Where is the sound coming from? Dude. I can't. Dude, there was no phone before! Brah! Oh my god, dude, that's trippy as hell! What the hell? That is so trippy! That's some inception shit. I ain't scared of you, bruh. Bring it on, yeah, some pound all my shit, dude. The father was fucking hell, dude. Fucking hell. And would often cause commotion late at night once returning home. Dude. He worked as a construction foreman and would frequently visit the local bar with co workers once their shifts were over. Jesus, man, like. I literally have goosebumps all over my body. Even my fucking teeth have goosebumps. Alright, let's do it again. Bro, you gotta stop doing this, dude. Stop messing up with my mind. Dude, the chair is... There are two bottles now. They were not here before. And this chair is like upside down. What is happening? Look, dude, look at the, look at this couch. Bro, dude, stop doing this. What the hell? Why is this like this? What's gonna happen now? Some jump scare. Bro. Dude, there is like a rifle in there. He kept his signature hunting rifle in a locked cabinet at the end of the hallway. Yes, give me the ha give me that rifle. No one was allowed near the cabinet and would be severely punished if found tampering with it. I don't care, dude. Just give me the rifle. I'm gonna have this guy in front of my face right now. I'm pretty sure. Oh my god. The hell happened in here? Dude, some paranormal shit in here. The TV is on, of course. Dude, ready for the ring? What is the rifle doing here now? Can I, can I, can I use it? I wanna use the rifle. Please, let me use the rifle. Okay guys, let's sit on the couch, Netflix and chill. Oh my god, dude, that's some trippy, this is a trippy game, dude. The only safe place to be once the father started drinking was anywhere hidden in the dark. 
the children. No, 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 bro. In the closet or under their beds. What are you doing? Please, work. You're my only hope right now. H work. Bro, I can't see shit. You know what? Doesn't work. Why are you not working? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. It's dark. It's pitch black. I can't see shit. The light doesn't work. Bro. What happening here? There's blood everywhere. And this, what the hell, dude? Bring it on! The grandparents said they were fearful of the wife and children's futures after so many episodes of domestic abuse. They described one incident in particular in which the mother Where's the radio? a traumatic head injury that sent her to the hospital. Bro! Everything is turned around. What the hell, man? This is some... Dude... What's happening? Is the light back? The hell is this? Where am I? Where the hell am I? This is a different room, dude. Oh, these were the pictures. These were the landscapes. Okay, guys. So, we got light back. This room, I cannot recognize this room anymore. The bookshelf that was in there is gone. Bro, I don't like this. Man, the father I'm expecting big things. The mother's hospitalization, but was reportedly seen at his regular bar only days later. Bro, you, you, you gotta stop that. Dude. We're gonna find a dead body or something, I'm pretty sure. Even worse. What the hell, man? Hello? Hello? That was useless, dude. Oh, he's following, dude. He's coming. He's coming. Bro, he's coming towards us. Where am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to run? Oh! Well... Am I supposed to hide? Can I hide? On the day of the crime, the father checked out both of his children early from school around noon. Those in the main office at the time described him as eerily anxious as the three quickly rushed out of the building. Books. On the day of the crime, the father checked out both of his children early from school around noon. Those in the main around office noon. at the time described him as eerily anxious as the three quickly rushed out of the building. Okay. Found it.
Okay, noon. Noon it is. Father is coming. On the day of the crime, the father checked out both of his children early from school around noon. Oh, there's Those a clock here too. office at the time described him as eerily anxious as the three Hold quickly up. rushed out we of the Bring this one to noon as well. Otherwise, the paranormal shit is not gonna happen. And we want the paranormal shit to happen. Is there another clock or something? Yeah, there's a clock here. Okay. Noon. Okay. There you go. Father is coming. When called to the front office. Okay, the can we move forward? Quickly shifted to that of pure dread. The teachers asked them to gather their books, among other belongings, which they did at the slowest fucking pace possible, interrupting the small school Jesus, to complete only nine students per classroom. Perfect. When called to the front office, both of the children's moods quickly shifted to that of pure Bro, I know, I know. Chill. To gather their books. Chill the fuck down. I know. Which they did I gotta collect the books. Dude, what's wrong with his fucking voice? For real? There it is. Finally. Yes. Okay. Can we go? No. Children also differed greatly in personality. The daughter strived for greatness, her favorite subject being geography, and has always been at the top of her class. The son, Good on the you. other hand, was deservedly punished for his actions, often getting sent to time out for acting up. The daughter strived for greatness. Yeah, there you go. Of course. Of her class. The son, on the other hand, was Bro, what's that? Probably he was in this room, in this classroom. Yep, there you go. Who's writing on the blackboard right now? There's more blood. Okay, well, of course. Okay, we got the bell. Most days it seemed like the only safe okay. space for the young man was inside his own locker. If he wasn't getting beaten at home by his father, the children at school would do it instead. Most days, it seemed like the only safe space for the young man was inside okay. his own locker. Let's try this. If he wasn't getting beaten at home by his father, the children Can we get in? would do it instead. Dude, we cannot even go inside a locker. Oh yeah! There you go. Okay, there it is. The father coming. Jesus, man. What is wrong with you? Jeez, man. Okay, I mean, I could even stay inside this locker. I don't mind. I would be good to stay inside. Okay, um... What's happening now? Seems like that he doesn't want to get out for real. Now light is back. The dude is gone. Is he gone? Please tell me he's gone. Oh! Bro. Don't do this with me. Radio talk. You always talk, now you're not talking anymore? Tell me what do I have to do, give me instructions! Please! Uh, can I wipe this out? Oh! The door is open, hold up. Okay, maybe, is that the exit or something? Can I, can I just leave? Nah, dude, I'm gonna start in the main room again. Yep. There you go. Yes, that's what I was talking about. Uh, we got more blood everywhere. 
Soon this is gonna be like a little swimming pool made of blood. And we're gonna be in it. Oh man. Back to the room. Bra. The door shuts itself? Okay. Um, at least the couch is back. After all the goosebumps I got. Oh shit, dude! I knew that, I knew that, I knew that. Returning from the hospital, she couldn't bear to look upon their faces. All she could see was her husband in their eyes. Dude, what is wrong with this radio? Why do you have to keep playing games like this with me? That's how this game is designed. It doesn't... It doesn't even open. Bro, it doesn't even open. Oh, I knew it, bro. <gasps> what the hell, dude? Why is this upside down? She feared these same emotions would linger once the new member of the family arrived. Something dude, why am I upside change. down? Bra, bra, bra. Dude. What is happening right now? The light is upside down. There's a baby crying. The rooms are completely empty. Can I turn this off or something? Yep. Again? Brah. Okay. What now? Could be that one. Oh yeah, it was that one. Turn it off. Another one? Yeah. There you go. Okay, what's uh, what's happening? You know, can we walk in there? Ooh, bra! Look at this radio. inside of her were finally unleashed. No more abuse. No more suffering. No more family. These children, including the one inside of her, will become just like her, and she feared for her life. They deserve a better existence. They deserve a fresh start. None of this was their fault. Jesus. Whoa. The hell, man. She finally made up her mind. Her plan for freedom. Bro, what is this? What the hell, man? Freedom. Are we supposed to? Are we supposed to open this coffin? Bro, that's some messed up vampire shit. Did I get pushed into it or something? Oh! Dude! Bro, why are so many coffins suddenly? What is happening? Do you know what the funniest part of it all is? It didn't work. Oh! Bro! Dracula is about to come out, boys. Dracula is coming out. Jesus, man. What? Bro, don't do that. 
stop playing with my mind like that. You know what? Come on. Bring it on. And we're back to the room. It's a loop, guys. We'll never make it out alive. Such a happy family. That looks and chill. How almost everyone looks normal from an outside perspective until you pull back the curtain and find a story such as this. It breaks my heart to report these things to the public day in and day out, but it's the reality of our current culture. People eat it up. They love wallowing in the misfortune of others. The mother in tonight's headlining tragedy is another victim for these leeches to feed on, further yeah. fueling the growing decay of society. All right, well. I often struggle with myself, finding that I am a large portion of the problem at hand. Just like her, Electricity I am a problems. goddamn parasite that has infected your mind. No matter where you go or what you do, you can never get rid of us. Brah! You're a goddamn parasite, that's right! Dude, like literally it's you're playing ironic. with my mind big time. All, really. The very place that festered her emotions is what currently shackles you now. Blue, bro, for real. Dude, what's behind this door now? What is this? That's a new place. Uh, tell me that's the exit, please. Her mind had been warped, damaged by those she loved most. Once she okay. had time alone to think and heal, the absolute darkness inside of her grew exponentially. Okay. So, what, what's what's gonna happen now? What's inside these rooms? Hold up. Make sure to cure. Why am I even checking what's inside these rooms? That's my rifle right there. She killed herself with a rifle. What happened? That's the darkness. Oh shit, dude, I knew that! Bruh! What the hell are you doing, dude? Bruh, 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 bruh. She dead in the hallway, no. floating in a pool of blood once the paramedics arrived. The unborn child, still within her, was instantly killed when the bullet entered her stomach. Strangely enough, she was found with scratch marks okay. on both of her arms as well as severe cuts on her right hand. The father dropped his children off at home before packing his bags There's for another impromptu there. hunting trip, abandoning the family for yet another weekend. Such a poor father. That's like the beginning. So he probably got the gun. Oh shit, dude! Man, I hate this paranormal shit. Like, unexpected like that. What's happening right now? Come on, show me. He was found lying in the living room, dead with his head split open from the bottom, rifle still in hand. Pieces of a shattered vase were scattered around him with his left cheek adorned with a massive wound. The two children laid in their beds, unsure of what to do, as the mother beckoned for the daughter's help with something in the living room. Okay, something, something. I don't want to see that something. It's the bats, bats. I knew that. I knew that shit. What's gonna happen? Another door opened. Uh, the living room here. There's a door open here right now. Another bed. Yeah, of course. The daughter was found dead in the bathroom, head smashed against the tub. The son, on the other hand, yeah. would fall victim to a fate much worse than death. Jesus. Man. Oh! Bro, I don't know what's happening. I just went into the straight darkness. We are back in our hallway. In our lovely hallway that we like so much, we just can't get rid of it. We want to be here, we want to chill in this hallway. Man. And now we have to go the other way around. This shit again. I think it's about time to change the channel. Oh 
Bra. Dude, you're right. Change the fucking channel, dude. Dude. I think we are about to discover what happened to the poor child. I think you know what needs to be done. Let go. What? Jump in here? Dude, if I jump in here, someone is just gonna bury me under this shit. Pretty sure it's one of these ones. It's gonna like, it's the body inside one of these graves. Dude. Yeah, it was this one. Okay, so it was actually the, the hole. So yeah, it looks like we really have to go inside her. And we got teleported into the house. Mind games. Our hallway. The best place in the world. Loving it. The son went to investigate the commotion in the living room. Okay, fair enough. But he couldn't get there in time. Bra. TV is on. Save electricity, dude. Okay. Let's see what's happening right now. Back to the first room. Bro. What are you doing? I knew that. What what were you thinking? Of course he was gonna be behind you. And now we are locked inside with him. Good job, bro. Good job. What's what's happening right now? Gunshots, rifles. 